Hey guys, in this video, I am going to show how you can keep this weird wonky sizing thing from happening to your images on your homepage. So we're gonna take this and turn it into this, where you have uniform sizing of your images to use as buttons on your homepage. I'd first like to begin by thanking Megan in our Facebook group for sharing this awesome template. I did bring it into Google Draw and add my own text to it. And then from there, I downloaded these as PNGs and then brought them in to my Canvas course. So you can see though that as I brought them in, they're different sizes, it's looking a little bit wonky. And part of the reason why this is looking like this is because I am using a table. Now, I know for many people beginning to use Canvas, a table is a really easy way to get those buttons into your homepage and kind of where you want them to be. I do have another video where I show how you can create buttons without using a table, but I do want to acknowledge that I know many of you are using a table, so I thought I'd share these tips and tricks that I use to keep this wonky, crazy sizing issue from happening. So I'm going to go ahead and click on edit, and then I'm going to go ahead and pull this guy down so we have a little bit more room to work on our page. Now you can see here, it looks like my buttons are at least relatively the same size, um, but part of the issue is I have five buttons. So when thinking about adding buttons to your page, you may want to have the same amount, actually I, I recommend having the same amount of buttons in the top row as you do in the bottom row. So you are going to see that I'm going to add a sixth button to this table. So I'm going to start though by blowing this table away because it is throwing us off. So I'm going to go and just delete this table and then I'm gonna start fresh. And to start fresh, I actually like to start with my cursor centered. So that's kind of step one, center your cursor. Now I'm going to add my table and I'm gonna go ahead and make it the three by two again. And then I'm gonna hop into the table properties and I'm gonna change the border width to zero. Now I know many people know to do that, but some of you are doing it afterwards. I recommend doing it to start with and then I'm also going to center my alignment. And now I'm ready to add those images. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the image icon, upload image, and then I am using the new rich content editor so I can just drag and drop my button image and then submit. Now from here, it's a little bit big, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on it and then click on image options and I'm gonna choose the medium sized and then click done. And now I'm going to repeat that process with all six buttons. Okay, so now I've got all six of those images added and you can see they're nice and uniform in my edit view. But I know this is where for some people, once they click save, that this is when it goes crazy. But now you'll see, now I click save and I've still got a nice uniform size. I'm going to go ahead now and click on home. The reason why home looks a little bit different is because we do have this side stuff on there. Um, so it does kind of change the, the size of the page. And then I'm also gonna click into student view, but again, you can still see they're looking good. And then in student view, look good there as well. Now let's say though that they don't still look good. The place that you can kind of go to check that is you can click on edit and you do not have to be an HTML expert to do this next part, but I go ahead and click on the HTML editor. And then from here, I actually use the find feature. So I'm working on a Mac, so I do um, Command F and I type in table. And then from here, I make sure that my table is set to 100%. And then this is where I can see each of the individual cells. And that image is set to 33%, 33%, which is what it should be when I'm using three buttons. But if I was using obviously more, then that percentage would change. But if one of these for some reason were not the same as the others, then you could change that to match. And then your uniform, your images should then be a uniform size. Uh, luckily, all of mine are, but if it weren't, then I could change that here in the HTML. Now I'm gonna hop back over to my regular rich content editor. And many of you already know how to actually turn these into buttons instead of just images, so you can stop here. But if you don't, this is now where I can take this image and I can link it to either an external link or a, another page within my course. So from here now, I'm gonna click on this image and then click on the link. 
and then click course links. And then from here, I'm able to select anything in my course to link this button to, but I'm just gonna go ahead and link it to a page. Oh, this is a sandbox course, so who knows what's in here, but I'll go ahead and just uh, link it to a weekly overview. And then I would repeat that process for all of my buttons and then click save. And now these images are buttons for my students and parents to click on to be able to access other parts of my course. Hopefully this helps. If not, let me know what questions you have.